I thought I'd record some of my projects, although I don't really get to work on them a lot lately. So anyway, this is um, some 7075 aircraft grade aluminum, and I'm making this into uh, locating arms for to hold my military axles, uh, what's under basically a monster truck that I'm building. Um, basically this off-road monster monstrosity. Um, Four-wheel steering, 47-inch tire thing. So anyway, uh, turning it down and uh, drilling and tapping uh, the ends of this so we can put in these, uh, uh, well, actually they're called Monster Himes, uh, produced by a company up in Canada that, uh, that I brought in. So here we're just uh, quickly facing the part, and then uh, we'll uh, jump over and uh, should uh, change out here pretty quickly, do some center drilling. Once I move the uh, tip that out of the way, pull in the tailstock, lock it down, center drill it, and then I'll pop that out really quick here. And I've got a multitude of drills that I'm going to run, so actually three different drills before I bring it out to the full uh, tap drill size. This is a 2.25 inch uh, solid 7075, as I mentioned earlier. A little bit expensive uh, by an entire bar of it, which actually I used all of for all the different links. So here we've got the pilot drill going in. And this one takes a little while uh, on drilling this one, so you won't see uh, see all of that. And here we go. We're gonna pop uh, pop out the last drill. So just finishing up the uh, the sim drill operation. Pop that baby out. Swap that out for the next drill size. So this will be uh, popping it out almost all the way to full size, but not quite. So we're gonna drop a one inch drill in here. Well, something bigger than that anyway. I didn't actually pay attention to the size. I just grabbed something that was close to where I needed. And we'll crank that baby in fast. Nice streamers on that uh, high quality material there. And that'll run up pretty quick. And this will get a little more entertaining here in a little bit uh, once you see uh, my uh, job shop uh, tapping operation. But uh, in the end, turn, finish up the drilling operation, spray a little, uh, spray a little coolant on there, pulling the drill out a few times to uh, get the extra chips out that are building up in there so we don't uh, pack that up and uh, snap the drill bit. That'd be a bad thing. We've also skipped some of the boring operations like uh, uh, dialing in the center uh, for these parts every time I've got to put them in that four-jaw chuck and uh, slowly move it around and, and uh, get that thing perfectly centered. Now we're going to drop in the, uh, the final drill here, and this is an uh, inch and uh, 11 64ths, which will be perfect size for the tapping operation. So one of these gets a uh, what's called a typical right hand tap, and then the other end of this gets a left hand tap, and that, uh, that way as you move it one direction, it either lengthens or shortens this uh, locating arm so you can quickly change the position of the axle. So, again, backing that out a few times, and then we're going to yank this thing out. Right there, we're all done. Everything is drilled to size. And we're going to pull this over and drop a piece on the uh, lathe here to chamfer both the inside and outside of the material. Clean that up after I knock a few things around. So we're going to put a nice little chamfer on there. Bam. And run that over hit the inside, make that nice and purdy. And that finishes up the operation. We're gonna go into uh, tapping, but uh, first, here's a quick look at uh, what we've got as far as the uh, finished product. Well, at this step of the operation. So drilled, chamfered in and out. Now, tapping. So basically, I've got the tap sitting there uh, sitting between the tailstock and the lathe and I'm jogging the lathe and I've got the tap actually held in location with the uh, with the crescent wrench. So I'm slowly feeding the tailstock in as because as you're running it the tap is actually sucking into the part and with its side load that crescent wrench uh, could turn that thing sideways and snap everything off and make a big nasty mess. So I've got to see my right hand there feeding the tailstock so that it keeps that uh, that tap in place, jogging it to the end. 
and then I'm going to release the tailstock so it can actually slide, and you'll see why here in a second. And I'm going to reverse this. This looks a little scary because the uh, crescent wrench is going to flip around the other way. But now it's actually threading back out, and because that tailstock's not bound down, it's actually pushing the tap back out. So I'm holding the, the tap there, but it's pretty safe. It's not going anywhere with that crescent wrench, and uh, it's really not fixed to anything. So, uh, And basically I'm getting ready to, as soon as it gets to the end, you'll see me pull the tailstock and pull the tap back out. So basically, here that comes. Boom, boom, and we are done. Do both sides, you end up with this finished part here. Throw a soda can down there for a comparison for side. Again, that's solid 7075 aluminum with some uh, heavy duty Himes.